by the beginning of 1944, what the Allies would do to the West. Removal was a matter of time. All German general staff, including Hitler, they were undecided about where to attack. The strongest of the available options is the Pas de Calais region. Though the Normandy coast could not be ignored, Hitler appointed two of his important generals to the West and ordered them to begin preparations. The main commander of the front and also the army group, the head of D was to be General Gert von Rundstedt. Despite he was retired in 1938, he was called back to duty because he was a highly prestigious officer. Army Group B, which was in charge of the coast of France, was handed over to another brilliant general, Erwin Rommel. When both commanders went on the field, they saw the general. It is possible to collect the landscape under the following headings. The Soviet counteroffensive that had begun in the east, it both demoralized the army and seriously, has caused human loss. For this reason in the west, there are not enough qualified personnel to defend. However, the personnel stationed in this region is relatively more morale and rested because he is away from the war. The Atlantic Wall is completely in pieces. It's away from strategic purposes at the time of its construction. In a state. The biggest problem is air power. The seriousness of the Luftwaffe, both the Allies and the Allies suffered great losses in, will enable them to move more comfortably in the sea and land. However, we still have large panzer units, available. Therefore, they will be very useful for us in defense. In addition, Europe is a large land. Allies who want to take the whole region will have to suffer a lot of energy and human losses. Now it was time to strategize. Because no matter what, the available resources were limited compared to the enemy and the power had to be concentrated in one place. Rommel and Rundstedt discussed the options first, talking among themselves and then requesting a meeting with Hitler. It seems that the two commanders wanted to follow two different sharp paths. At the meeting, the Rommel sticker was firmly on the shore argued that it should be stopped. Here are his thoughts it is possible to summarize. The Allies will concentrate on a very narrow stretch of coast. Therefore, the tough and intense defense we will make with our bunkers and panzer units on the shore will keep them stuck on the beach. If the landing stops on the shore and turns into a bloody showdown, it means that the defender gains the moral superiority. Once the Allies hold a bridgehead, the difference in power prevents us from stopping them on the wide terrain. Against this plan, Rundstedt said that it was necessary to let the enemy in. His reasons for this were. They will spread as the Allies push inland from the coast. In this way, we can ambush and fail a unit of them at a time with our skillful panzer units. Also, the enemy spreading inward will move away from the supply lines. Therefore, it is more convenient for us to enter between these lines and the troops and put them out of the war. We know Europe better than they do. Which Union where? This gives us an advantage when it comes to setting up an ambush. Hitler, who would make the final decision in this debate, was caught between two different ideas. Then the war would make one of the worst decisions in history. He will position his panzer units neither on the shore nor inland, but in the middle of the positions desired by the two generals. So who was right in this debate? Both options have their advantages. But Rommel's plan seems more plausible. Because. First. Air support would come with them to protect ground troops no matter how spread out the Allies were. Lacking the same support, it would not be easy for German panzers to cut the enemy's supply lines. A second and more strategic problem is that if you are going to defend by pulling the enemy in, you must have full support from the local population. However, the Germans were seen as invaders by the people. But whichever was chosen would not have been as bad as Hitler's choice. Decisions that do not have a basis in strategy are always doomed to lose. That's exactly what happened in this story.